48 hours. If you could see them now, continue. It's four hours before showtime. Bobby. Hey, hey, very, very close. And Mary Wilson wants hey, everything hey, to be hey, perfect. Hey. At nine o'clock tonight, this former backup singer will be on stage. Hey. And a crowd in Kansas City will judge Mary Wilson, the solo act, against Mary Wilson, the Supreme. Mary Wilson, she's on the right, was part of the most successful American group of the 60s. Baby love, my baby love, love, you just have to wait. Only the Beatles had more number one hits than Mary Wilson, Florence Ballard, and Diana Ross. Three kids from the Detroit Projects who called themselves the Supremes. We as little black girls dare to dream at a time when you know, black people weren't even considered citizens because the Civil Rights Bill hadn't been passed yet. Baby, baby. And it was this 1964 single, a blend of pop and soul, that sent them on their way. All by myself. How much did that hit change your life? Did everything change? Our lives changed probably 180 degrees. <laughs> I bought a home for my mother and my family and uh, I mean it's, excuse me it always kind of brings tears to my eyes because my mother is, is illiterate but yet still she's the best human being on this earth soon the Supremes weren't just on top of the charts they were on top of the world with hit after hit after hit Did you get paid what you're supposed to get paid? What we did was we settled for very small percentages. Though we sold millions of records, we did not get millions and millions of dollars. Behind the scenes, with Diana Ross moving to center stage, there was anything but harmony. Florence Ballard left the group in 1968. She would later die in poverty. Then, in 1970... I hated that Diane was leaving the group. I mean, I, I, I was like most kids, you know, you got something good, you think it's going to last forever. Mary Wilson tried to keep the act going. But seven years later, the glitter was gone. And, and this weighs 30 pounds? About 30 pounds. And this is one of the original Supreme dresses that you wore on stage? The oh, burden yeah. of all those memories led to a tell-all book and a don't ask relationship with Diana Ross. You and Diana are no, no longer friends today. I guess not, I don't, I don't think so. Because um, each time I've reached out to her, she's been not only not nice, I've been shoved around. Um, it, it hurts, it really hurts. 48 Hours asked Diana Ross to comment. She declined. As we walk in fields of gold. Today, Mary is struggling to make a comeback, not just professionally, but personally, from a 1994 tragedy that changed her forever. The son of Mary Wilson, one of the original Supremes, is dead tonight after a Jeep driven by his mother ran into a freeway median and flipped over. Her 14-year-old son... It, it was at that point where I realized the, the, the reality of, of, of life, and I said, you know, it's too short. To, to not do or be who you are. And at that point, I think at 50, I realized that I must do, must make my life very real because it's otherwise, it's, it's all gone, it's gone like that. But even with her eye on the future, uh oh, I got the wrong hand. She's still hearing about her past. You are one of the three? Yes, I, I was. Yes, Mary Wilson. Oh my God, I'm on. Okay, there you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hi, so how do you know about the Supremes? My parents. Your parents? So your mom was a, a Supreme fan, is that it? Yeah? I think it's great because I've actually come from being one of the girls in the Supremes to someone who sang behind Diane to being Mary Wilson. Miss Mary Wilson! So I am now Mary Wilson. Ah, 
now I know it's not just a supreme I love. I love performing. This is my heart. This is what God put me here to do. Many years have passed since those summer days. After 30 years, Mary Wilson, the girl who dared to dream, has finally made it to center stage. As the sun goes down among the fields of gold. 